there is a change of tune since Mubarak stepped down. But what I see is that the editors are reverting to the old ways. They're still waiting for press releases to come their way. And I feel that there are still instructions being given to the uh, heads of the news sector. Before, it, it may have been the presidency or the interior ministry. Now I believe it's the Supreme Military Council. What is it going to take to change how the institution of state TV works in Egypt? This is going to be a long and gradual process. Uh, there are people who want to open up, I think, who want to report in a freer way, but I think they need guidance and I think they need training. Uh, some of the journalists are very good. The mindset needs to change and they need to be guided. If you do go back, do you feel like you would be subject to the same sorts of, same sort of restrictions uh, and pressures from the management to report how the government wants you to report? Maybe not as much as before. Um, don't forget the Nile TV broadcasts in English and French, so our target audience is different from the rest of state television. And throughout the years I've been there, I never really felt restricted. Uh, I, I only got instructions when the uprising started, never before. I have been given this great opportunity to interview American Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Of course, it's an opportunity not to be missed for any journalist. Uh, and so I asked Egyptian television whether they would air it, and of course they jumped at the chance. Uh, we're all thrilled that Egyptian TV is getting this chance.